What's up, good people? This is Retrospective Dave checking in. I hope this video finds you well. Today's episode of God and Laces features the Air Jordan 5 Fire Red Silver Tongue, which officially releases at retailers on May 2nd, 2020. With several release dates getting postponed due to the recent pandemic, in addition to seeing this year's release in its OG form for the first time since the year 2000, it's safe to say that this won't be an easy cop come release day. Needless to say, many sneakerheads will resort to the aftermarket in order to get their hands on a pair, but doing so comes with a risk. So in today's video, I will go over this sneaker in detail to the best of my ability with the hopes of providing you with the peace of mind that you got what you paid for. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into the shoe. All right, folks, so this is the part of the video where I usually show my proof of purchase, but unfortunately, I don't have one. And reason being is because, uh, you know, these shock dropped on April 19th for the um, Last Dance documentary on ESPN. And I was a little late to the party by the time I got the link, so I took the L. But um, a few minutes later, my boy T called me. He was like, yo, did you hit? I said, nah, I missed out. And he said, oh, well, that's cool. Well, I got two pairs, so if you want one for retail, I got you. So I sent him the money over, and the rest was history. Uh, he definitely didn't have to do that, so huge shout out to him, and make sure y'all give T a shout out in the comment section. All right, folks, here's just a quick look at the box. And now we're gonna get into the details of what you should see in the box and outside of the box when you order your shoes offline. All right, quick shot at the box label. So if this is anything like the uh, Court Purple Jordan 1 box uh, with the barcode numbers here, then your numbers should be the same as far as 19495553 and the number 14 at the end. Those numbers should all be the same. So the only three numbers that should be different are the 438 right before the 14. Those last three numbers right before the 14, those may vary, but everything else should be the same. As far as the barcode itself if you take your thumb and rub it across it is uh you can feel that it's embossed you will also feel embossing near the uh color description a little bit on the air jordan 5 retro part not so much on the sizing right here but i can feel it a lot more on the uh metrics part and down here on the style code you can kind of feel it a little bit as well so uh Make sure that when you get your box, you take your thumb and you rub it across these areas. You should feel some embossing. If you if it's flat, then um, that's a red flag. I would be concerned about that. But definitely, yeah, just take your thumb, rub it across this box label, and you will feel some uh, subtle embossing on the box tab. All right, opening up the box, you will have this garbage bag like shoe paper. I believe we saw this um, in the infrared sixes as well. But if you pay close attention. The details in the shoe paper, it's like these little dots here. Um, on one side of the paper, you will be able to feel them. It almost feels like braille. And on the other side, it's gonna be completely smooth. Um, the tissue itself is not waxy. Um, it just feels like, it feels like regular paper. Um, you know, like a, like a garbage bag almost, it's not as waxy. So again, like on this side where all the little dots are, you will be able to feel that, like braille. On the other side, it's gonna be even though you can see it in the paper, it's going to be smooth on this side. So take note of that as well. All right, so once you remove the shoe paper from the box, you will have three things going on inside. You will have a new quality control sticker here in gold. Um, I believe the DMP sixes has that. You will have another quality control sticker here, the green and white one that we've seen on other shoes before. And you will also have a quality control stamp as well. All right, when you flip the box on the bottom, there's really nothing special going on here. Um, you have your different variations of the Nike branding on the left side of the box. You have your Jumpman, and you also have your recycling uh, symbol on the bottom. Uh, please take note that all of this is a part of the box. This is not a sticker. I know some Jordan boxes have like a sticker of this stuff, but this is all a part of the box. All right, folks, and here we are, the Fire Red 5. Um, before I unlace these, I just wanna go over a few little details on the outside of the shoe that I think will probably differentiate this from the um, fake pair, so let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I wanna bring your attention to is the uh, sock liner. So you may not be able to see it on camera very well. Um, hopefully you do by the time I upload this, but the sock liner does not match the red on the uh, Jumpman. So the it's a, it's a little bit more washed out on the sock liner so it's not as vibrant as the stitching it's not as vibrant as the red on the lace lock and it's not as vibrant as the red on the uh, shark teeth so um i don't know for those of you who are like into photography or videography there's a term called contrast 
and you know when you're like editing photos or uh, videos in general um, if you turn up the contrast and all of the colors on uh, that image will get darker but if you turn down the contrast then everything will look washed out so that's kind of how this sock liner looks it looks a little bit washed compared to the uh, stitching everywhere else or the uh, fire red everywhere else on the shoe even on the back of the shoe uh, it's not as vibrant the uh, sock liner is not as vibrant so just keep that in mind it's like a washed out sock liner all right the next thing I want to touch on are the uh, eyelets here so like these little sections where the laces go so on the real pair they're very white um, almost matching the white leather on the shoe on the fake pair of fives that I've seen they're a little bit yellow or sail colored um, they're just discolored period so um, they're not gonna match the white now they might have some updated versions of the fake ones where it matches but for the most part though all of the ones that I've seen that are not authentic have like a sail or like a yellow um, eyelet there so on the real pairs are gonna pretty much match the white leather that you see on screen all right folks the next thing I want to point out is the upper itself so this white leather has a finish over it like a it almost looks pearl like in the light especially like up in here you can see it a little bit um, it's like a pearl effect or something like that but I've seen some fakes and they look extremely shiny and that's not what they're supposed to look like it's supposed to look like this I mean even in good lighting like I have two softbox lights shining on this right now and the shoes don't look loud uh, or shiny or like greasy looking um, they're still matted out a little bit um, you know but like I said in certain certain angles like now you can see it but it's not loud it's not like someone just took a bunch of Vaseline and just put it all over the shoe so um, also look out for that as well it's like a matted white leather um, it's not over exaggerated it has a pearl look to it but for the most part it's still matted out all right I think this air unit is a very important part to point out um, if you look at it it's not white at all it's like a like a sale like a, it, it looks vintage that's all I can say it looks very vintage um, almost like it's been around for a while so it doesn't match the upper it's not as white or clean looking as the upper um, it's very vintage looking you can see the difference there I'm not sure if this is worth pointing out or not but the netting is very soft here it's like a rubberized feel it's not plastic uh, it's not hard uh, to the touch so um, keep that in mind when you're inspecting your shoes it's like a very soft rubberized feel and I think it's actually attached to the back part or this mesh in the back this white part in the back of the uh, netting it's not separate from that so it's not like how on the uh, bread four is how you know when you move the netting you can actually move that around and it's not attached to the background but on this particular shoe the netting is attached to the background and it's a very uh, soft netting like a rubberized netting um, this is what you'll see when you take the insole out so when you take this part out this is what you'll see on the inside Let's see if I can get it to focus again and you'll see the serial number you'll see uh, black threading it's gonna be taped down all right, here's a quick look at the sizing tag let me see if I can get it to focus a little bit um, where it's situated in the shoe is a little bit hard for me to um, pull this back just a tad bit all right so my production dates are October 2nd 2019 to January 2nd 2020 and this is what your sizing tag should look like I'm gonna leave it up for a couple seconds so you can study it all right just to give you a quick look at the insole um, this is for a size 12 to a 12 and a half you have your recycling symbols here the Air Jordan and like we saw on the court purple you're gonna have your die cut sock liner as well this is going to be on uh, both shoe trees all right and here's a look at the insole this is what your insole should look like it's black Nike Air branding um, one thing that you'll notice is that there are no trademark symbols on this one so there's no R's no uh, copyright anything it's just a Nike Air um, you know usually we see the little trademark R right here or somewhere up in here but uh, nothing it's just the Nike Air all right, when you flip your insoles over, this is what you'll see on the insole. Let me focus. All right, 
So you'll see this uh, table on the back. This is for the left insole. And it also tells you that here you'll see like an L pointing that way left. So I'm, I'm assuming that the right shoe will have an R pointing right. Um, I don't know what these numbers mean in the graph, but this is what the insole should look like on the other side of it. All right, folks, here's another part of the shoe that I want you to pay attention to, and it is the uh, cushion right here that's right near the sock liner or right around the ankle collar. So if you take your thumb and you press down on this, it comes right back. Press down and it comes right back. And also when you press, you can see the little wrinkles in the leather as you press. Now on some fives, and the reason why I'm pointing this out is because when you press it on some fives, it takes a while for it to come back. So you press it and then it's just going to stay there. It's going to stay pressed for a little while before it you know, returns back to its original state. Also worth noting is the height of your tongue compared to the height of the ankle collar here. So if your tongue is a little taller than the ankle collar, you should be good. Because a lot of times the, the fake pairs make the mistake of having the ankle collar taller than the tongue itself. So it actually looks more like that. But if you have the tongue straight up, this little corner that kind of curves around is going to be taller than the ankle collar. Also worth noting is on the tongue, where you see Jordan's fingers right here that spread apart. The He should have four fingers. And on the, the first one, it should almost look like one continuous line going to his thumb. So if, like, if this is his pinky and this is his thumb, they're all the same length. It's the same length. Now the two fingers in the middle are going to be shorter and they should be the same length as well and it's like that on the other shoe as well so it's the same design here so his pinky and his thumb his pinky and his thumb are pretty much the same length and they're longer than the two fingers in the middle but those two fingers in the middle should be the same length as well also pay attention to the depth in the tongue with the layers where you see the jump man and it has these layers in back of him that almost looks like it's kind of like coming out as 3D. Uh, this part is very, um, it has a lot of depth to it is all I can say really. I'm going to switch it back to this one so you can actually see it more. Um, on the fake pairs you will find that these little layers in back of the Jordan Man, especially like the second layer, is a little bit flatter. It's not as, it doesn't have as much depth to it as this one does. So that's something that's worth noting too. And here's a look at the bottom. So in my opinion, well, first thing I want to point out is that your um, icy sole is going to be two different colors. So the first one up in here is going to be clear. And then around the edges, it should be like a darker tint. So it's not going to be the same blue all throughout the bottom of the shoe. So keep that in mind as well. And also I want to... Uh, direct your attention to the jump man and if you look at his right foot it's almost like it's cut off or it's like flat here and then if you look at the left shoe it's a bigger block and it's pointed up um and it's like that on the other shoe as well so you see how it's it's flat here it just kind of runs down but this one is pointed up and you can actually see that little dip up there so um Make sure that you pay attention to that as well. I think this is going to be a, a dead giveaway too, just because of the um, design itself. You know, most people th would think that, okay, let's make uh, both shoes look the same um, in terms of like this foot pointing up. So this shoe should point up. So I think that the fake fives would probably get this wrong. So um, on the real fives, it has like a, a big shoe. It's pointed up. It almost looks like a, like a big dipper in a sense. And then on this one, it's just kind of running down it's like just flat right here so pay attention to that as well all right folks and that will conclude today's episode of guided laces on the fire red 5 2020 i hope you were able to get some if not all of your questions answered by watching this video if you enjoy videos like this one i have other videos on my channel that follow the same format and i will also upload more videos like this one in the near future so please stay tuned feel free to like comment and subscribe any questions you have, please leave them in the comment section or reach out to me on Instagram because I do check both regularly. Until next time, stay fresh, blessed, and free of stress, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.